Hey, what up everybody? I'm Cynical. And this is Gems of War on PS4. And today, I don't know what I'm going to call this. Um, this is what I do each day. That's the easiest way to explain it. And for the title, I don't know what I'm going to put. But something like, The Least You Should Do in Gems of War Each Day in Under 45 Minutes. As you can see, the video is only 43 minutes, 50 seconds, or whatever. I don't know what it's going to come out to in the end, but that's what it says for me right now. And uh, this is from start up till finish. What I do each day to keep ahead and to, you know, keep accumulating resources, stay in my guild, um, going after orbs, trying to get Zul'Goth, making sure I get certain things done each day. This is the least you need to do each day, in my opinion. To um, stay ahead in the game, and you know, be, you know, get ahead of the curve, stay ahead of the content, um, eventually have uh, as many resources as you want, all the troops, um, Dawnbringer, Zulgoth, all this stuff. This is what you should do each day, and you can do it in under 45 minutes, and it's, and it's like the bare minimum, I think. I mean, there's a couple things you might be able to cut out, but I don't know. Not for me, not for me right now. Um, so first thing is dungeons. Make sure you do dungeons every day. That's the first thing I do each day. So this is also going to go in priority. So first priority each day is dungeons. Why is this? Um, dungeons are number one priority every single day. And this is, the, this is what you should do every day. Every day in under 45 minutes. So whatever that is per week, that's like, okay, so 45 times two is one and a half times four is three so it's less than six hours a week you can do this so that's not even an hour a day less than six hours a week do your dungeons you'll get diamonds save up diamonds you get mythics so dungeons are the first thing you should do each day because you can get mythics with from doing them it might take you a while because diamonds you only get so many but this is the the best way to get diamonds. Diamonds are the things that you craft mythics with in the Soul Forge. So it's the first thing you should do each day, and it's the number one thing you should make sure to do each day. Every day. So yeah, diamonds. 30 diamonds, especially on Sunday. Today's Sunday, just for reference. Um, which is, I think, a good time to show this, because sometimes Sundays are a little slow. You might have everything done for the week, but you should still do these things. And here I'm buying the offer. One thing I did not know is that on PC it like charges you actual um, money, I think, for one of those. On one of the, I don't know if it's every single day, but on one of those they uh, charge you money. So I've always recommended you get both of them on Sunday, but if you're on PC and they're actually charging you real money, forget about that. Don't do that. Just do the ones where it charges you gems. When I'm saying buy the thing on Sunday, I mean with gems, not with money. I've never spent a dollar on this game, and I probably should for as much as I've gotten out of it, and I probably will one day, but I'm not going to do it to buy uh, stuff like that. If anything, I'd buy the Death Knight armor. So number one thing, do your dungeons every day because you get diamonds from dungeons. Diamonds you use to craft mythics, and it's going to take a while, so you need to do it every single day. Then, like today on Sunday, buy the offer. As long as the offer is offering to give you diamonds for gems, not for real money. Don't don't buy it with real money. But Sundays, they give you a better offer. And Sundays, the dungeon gives you more diamonds. So definitely do it on Sundays. If you're not going to do your dungeons every day, then you're not listening to me. But uh, at least do them on Sundays, because they give you extra diamonds on Sundays. And diamonds buy mythics in the Soul Forge. So even if you're level 100, if you did your dungeons every day, you could craft a mythic eventually after a couple months. Months sounds like a long time, but to get the best thing in the game, uh, just for a couple months of work, that's not that bad. Especially in a game like this. So the second thing you should do every day is your adventure board. And some people will say, man, that's not worth it. There's nothing good today. Um, and that's true. I mean, you could you could pick and choose when you do it. But for me, I like to keep it the habit of doing the adventure board every day. 
Like for this one, and specifically we're doing runes of magic one, we're only getting minor rune stones. So it's not that good of a reward. But it's not the reward for me, it's, it's the habit. The habit of doing it every day. Because if you don't do it every day, if you see these minor trait stones, and you say, man, that sucks, I'm not doing it. Then the next day you see something subpar like souls or whatever, or gold or whatever, and you see it again and you're like, oh, that's subpar, I'm not doing it again. Eventually you'll just stop looking. And then you're going to miss imperial deeds. You're going to miss uh, glory. You're going to miss just good stuff. So if you get in the habit of doing it every day, no matter what it is, then you'll never miss anything. You won't miss those imperial deeds. Um, so make sure you just do it every day. I know sometimes it's not worth it. Like here, this is glory, glory's worth it. But uh, like the minor trait stones earlier, definitely not worth it. But uh, for the time it takes, it's not that bad. You just blow through it with your Rowane team. And you're done. That's what I used for dungeons as well, was my Rowane team. Just for uh, if you guys need the team. But I've, I've shown this team a bunch of times. Other people have as well. Black Manacles, Rowane, Leprechaun, the Mirage Queen. Everybody probably has the Black Manacles. It's just brown and purple mastery. Mastery is the color you choose after you level up. So choose brown and purple if you want to get Black Manacles. But go to my first three weapons to get video if you want more information. And then after I do my adventure board, I do that every day. Adventure board every day, no matter what the reward is. I don't even care what the reward is. I just do it every day for habit's sake. Because one day it's going to be Imperial Deeds, and I don't want to get out of practice, out of habit. So, Next thing I do is I check the guild event, and I make sure, I make sure I'm not in the bottom. This is going to be, this might be a little controversial, and it might sound, uh, it might come off as, you know, the wrong way. But, at the least, every week, at the least, I'm just saying at the least. I'm not saying this is what I shoot for. I'm not saying this is what I'm going for, because I want to just do the bare minimum. I'm saying at the least, I do not want to be in that bottom five in my guild. When you click up on the on the list, on the leaders for your guild, and it goes all the way to the bottom, if your name is right there on that first five for the bottom, the bottom five, then you're not doing your part. I'm not calling out anybody in specific, because I've been down there before uh, by accident. like. If it's the last day and somebody puts you into the bottom five, that's a different story. Um, but or if, or, if, or if you already have all the rewards and you're actually trying and somehow you ended up in the bottom five, that's a different story. But 90% of the time, if you're in that bottom five, you're just not doing enough. So that's what I go for next in my priority. First is dungeons, then adventure board habit. First is dungeons for diamonds to get mythics, right? Second is Adventure Board for Habit, so I don't miss Imperial Deeds and stuff like that if they happen to come up, because I don't want to get out of Habit. Third is Check My Guild Events, which right now there's two, so I'm checking Council of Chiefs right now. Do maybe a battle or two of those. Make sure you're not in the bottom five, you're pulling your weight. As long as you're not in that bottom five, you're pulling your weight, in my opinion. Because um, if somebody knocks you into that bottom five, they're starting to try to pull their weight then you gotta get back out of there. Unless it's the last day and you already got all the rewards and there's special circumstances, but don't be in that bottom five because then you're not pulling your weight. Every once in a while, maybe you accidentally go in the bottom five, but if you're always in that bottom five, if you're always like the second to last or third to last, people are looking at you sideways, even if they don't say something, because you're not pulling your weight. So that's the third thing I do every day. I check out my guild event, make sure I'm pulling my weight, do a couple battles if I feel like I need to. If I see I can uh, gain a couple spots by doing a couple battles, then I'll do that. Um, if we haven't got all the rewards yet, I'll do a couple battles. Um, some events I do uh, more than others. Like Council of Chiefs, I, I don't like it so far. So I'm not going to spend a million gems and try to get first place in my guild for this one because I don't like it. Um, Stuff like invasions and raids, I don't like. It's like feels like pay to win. You just throw a bunch of gems at the potions, and and you throw a bunch of gems at a bunch of turns, and that's how you win. That's how you get first place. But stuff like Tower of Doom, Guild Wars, I'm down for that stuff. I'll I'll try for first place on those. 
that feels feels like it's more skillful, not just throwing your gems at at the leaderboard. So yeah, as long as I'm not in the bottom five, I'm cool with that. And if I do end up in the bottom five, the only way that happened is because we already got all the rewards, and there's no reason for me to do any more battles. And usually that's when we get all the rewards like really early in the week. And I was doing my part throughout the first few days, and somehow everybody's doing a bunch, and somehow I end up like in the bottom five somehow, you know? And then there's like no point of doing any more battles because there's nothing to gain because we already got all the rewards. But basically just do your part. Check on your guild events. That should be your third priority each day. Make sure you're doing enough and not the bare minimum. You see here I lose, lost a troop, but I don't even care this event. Every one of my troops has uh, extra skull damage from the, uh, the badge of the chiefs or whatever it is. So even if one troop dies, the next one has just as much power to to one shot so it's not a big deal if you lose a troop in this one still haven't fig figured out the scoring system at all um, some people say do the higher level some people say do the higher rarity some people say it's just all random luck some people said you need to kill with skulls to get more to get more uh, skulls I don't know man nothing's working for me a few times I was getting six to eight skulls or whatever and then the next time on a harder higher level higher rarity battle I'd get two skulls so I don't know what they're thinking with this scoring system maybe there's some weird hidden scoring with it but I don't know I can't figure it out basically just keep winning and keep getting kills and when it gives you two skulls don't get too mad because it's happening to other people as well but yeah I'm just doing a couple here just to gain a couple spots make sure I'm not doing um, the bare minimum for the guild. Um, it'd be nice if I could get up to like 15th or whatever on, on, on events that I hate. I'm not going to go for number one on events that I hate. Um, but you know, if you can get halfway to 15 or something, so you're doing more than half the guild. And it's not like, it's not a, it's not a competition. It's not like, hey, I'm doing more than you. It's not any of that stuff. It's just for my gauge on my participation to make me feel like I'm doing my part. It has nothing to do with anybody, any single person's name on the list or anything like that. It's just like where I feel like I'm doing enough. Like, and it's just a number, not a name. So if I can get to 15th, then I feel good on events that I hate. On events that I like, like Tower of Doom and Guild Wars, I'm trying to get top five. Um, and when I'm having a bad week and I and I don't even feel like doing anything, then I'm shooting to try to stay all that bottom five. So that would be my priority right now. Just jump on the game every day. You can do this in under 45 minutes. Do your dungeons number one every day. Get your diamonds. Diamonds is how you get mythics. You craft them in the Soul Forge. You might have to wait. It might take a while. You might have to wait for a certain mythic. Don't just buy the first one you see. As soon as you get 4,000 diamonds, that's not how you should do it. Save up your diamonds till you get 4,000 then wait for a mythic that's gonna help you to come into the soul forge so Ferris Ra, High King Iron Gut, uh, Infernus, um, troops like these in, in, the, in the soul forge don't just buy the first one then you're gonna end up with like guards avatar or, or storm hammer or something that, that sucks or garganchar or some crazy crappy troop don't wanna do that you at least want to get something like the Possessed King or Obsidious or something that's worthwhile that can help you out. Or a Legendary. Hey, you could save up 800 diamonds. You can get that in like two weeks and you can get the Dragon Soul and start your drag and start your soul farming team. So next I'll just check uh, the other event because right now there's two guild events. It's kind of a new new thing going on here. With this uh, The way they're doing things after 4.8. Um, so now we have Invasions and Council of Chiefs at the moment on Sunday. Um, so I'm just checking where I'm at on the board. Seeing if I could maybe jump a few spots just by doing a couple battles. Which I was kind of looking at it wrong, so I probably would not have uh, done this if I was looking at it right. But I'm, I'm doing a couple more battles. So guild stuff is your third. Is your third priority. Not like 
not overall, like, if I was, you know, just on a day-to-day -day basis. Get your dungeons done, get your adventure board done, then start, and then just look at your guild, and make sure you're doing your part. Make sure you, make sure you gave enough gold. Make sure you got enough, um, seals. Make sure you're doing enough in the guild events. Make sure you got enough trophies. Just take a little look at it, do a little bit each day. Make sure that, um, whatever you're doing, uh, is enough to where over seven days you, you, you're not doing the bare minimum and you're doing enough to stay in this guild. And it's up to you what, what you're, what you're, um, the least amount you think you should do. If you want to be the guild leader or the second in command and you want to be one of the top dudes in the guild, then you need to do more, more than I'm saying. If you just want to stay in the guild and you don't want to get kicked out and you're just trying to and you're just trying to float on by and not be noticed then maybe do a little bit less than I'm saying but not very much less um, but this is what I do uh, because I know I, I get Paragon in Guild Wars I, I get finish in top 5 in Tower of Doom I've never missed a requirement for, for Guild Rex um, so this is what I do like on events that I hate I just shoot from the middle because I, it's not something I like to do. And some people like these kinds better than me. Some people like to throw gems at, because uh, that's you know eventually in the game if you're if you're super high level, you have so many gems you don't know what to do with them. This is the only thing you to do with them. Throw them at these kind of events. That's all there is to do with them. So I definitely understand. It's not it's not pay to win at that point. It's you're using your resources. So I'm not, oh, I'm never talking down to people when they're uh, buying turns and buying leaderboard. Only if they used real money to buy gems, I guess. Uh, otherwise, they're just using, you know, they grinded to get those things. And now they're using them for the only thing that, that they need them for anymore, you know. So I, I would never put anybody down for doing that as long as they didn't, if they used real money to get the gems, then yeah. Um... Or if they're bragging about throwing a bunch of gems at a, a bunch of turns, but no one does that. In my anybody I know, nobody does that. So doing a couple more invasions, I kind of read the leaderboard wrong, so I was thinking I was really close to the next, to the next, uh, you know, spot on the on the leaderboard, but I wasn't. So I kind of did a little bit too much here, but it's all good because we don't have all the rewards yet. So the more I do, the better. And it's the last day, so really, the time to do extra is now. But it's all up to you in your personal situation. This is what I recommend, this is what I do each day. Some days I do different stuff, like like on Tuesdays, there's going to be a, a, a different event that i got to fit in. There's going to be a, um, a faction event that I'm going to want to go for those uh, orbs at the end. So I'm going to want to get all the rewards on the single player event on Tuesday. So I'm going for Zulgoth, so that's my special, that's the thing I'm shooting for right now, so that's my thing I'm doing. So Tuesday, this is going to be a little different, but this is the bare minimum, no matter what's going on each day, that you should do, in my opinion. You can get it done in under 45 minutes. If you did everything I did in this video each day, you'll be ahead of the game, and you'll start to gain and you'll eventually get what you want you'll get mythics you'll get that dawnbringer i mean if you're going for dawnbringer and for like for me for me i'm doing the delves i'm doing one delve each day because i'm trying to get the pets from the delves maybe maybe for you that's dawnbringer you know what i'm saying so you cut that out and instead you do like a certain amount of soul farming each day so, I'm at the point where I'm going for Delve Pets. Maybe you're at the point where you're going for Dawnbringer. So instead of doing what I do, which is a one Delve each day, maybe you do 10,000 souls a day. But you gotta break it down per day. If you think you're gonna go in on Sunday and farm 100,000 souls or 70,000 souls, uh, you're probably, one Sunday you're not gonna do that. But if you do 10,000 a day, and you make it a habit, and you do it every single day, you're going to get that 70,000 every single week, no matter what. You might miss one day and get 60,000, but hey, 
if you try to do it all in one day, if you try, if you say every Sunday I'm going to do 70,000 souls, one Sunday you're not going to do it and you're going to get zero. But if you do 10,000 a day and then one Sunday you feel like not doing it, you're still going to get 60,000, you know what I mean? And it's a, it becomes more of a habit if you're doing it every single day. So this is the stuff you should do every day in Gems of War. Every day. And it's different for every person, but it's kind of not. Like, this is the... Dungeons, anybody can do dungeons. If you don't have dungeons open, then you're just... You're, you're such a low level that you just need to do all the quests. Level up your kingdoms. Just level up your character. Like, you're not even at the point yet where you should worry about it. But if your dungeons are open, then, um, I'm typing something in guild right here. Uh, that's why it's paused. But hey, we just did our two guild things. We made sure we did what we should in guild events. And, uh, so, let's re reiterate, because you know that's me. I'm Mr. Reiteration. Do your dungeons first every single day. Get those diamonds, save them up. Get those mythics, man. Get the mythics. If you get a mythic, you can build a whole team around one mythic. And then you have an awesome team you can use. Next, you do adventure board every day just to make it a habit. Whether it's minor trade stones, gold, and you don't think it's worth it, it's it goes so fast. It's nine battles that you can one shot pretty much most of the time. Not maybe not nine, but you know what I mean. It's three different thing, three different rewards that you can just blow through in five minutes. I said, what's up with people not doing invasion? Go knock down some towers. I try to give, like, some motivation sometimes. Even though I'm not a leader in this guild, I'm, like, third. I've asked to become, uh, the next... I've asked for a promotion. I don't know why they don't listen, but, uh... I think I definitely deserve it. Been in this guild for over a year. Hit Rex every single time. I've been Paragon, like, ten times at least. I was Paragon, like, four out of five last of the last guild <laughs> the last five guild wars I was like paragon three or four times I always finish in the top five in tower of doom if you sort by like gold and trophies and all that I'm in the top half of the guild like I don't know man I don't think there's enough slots or something that's why because I would make me uh, second in command I don't know why they don't but uh next thing that I do that I would recommend you do if you're around my level or, you know, a little bit lower, a little bit higher. I'm going for these pets. I'm going for these delve pets. So I'm doing one delve a day. Just to make it easier. Like, I could do four delves a day. I could do... I could do three delves a day. Um, but then I know... Like, just like I was saying with, um... With the soul farming. If you leave it all for one day each week. And you accidentally don't feel like doing it that day... You're going to get zero that week. So for me, with delves, I'm breaking it down to each day. So it's a habit. I'm going to run through one delve each day. I'm going to pick one delve that I don't have the pet in. I'm going to run through it each day, one time. And eventually, I'm going to get the pet. Um, I could do three a day, but I know that if I, if I put that on myself, one day I'm not going to do it. Two days in a row, I'm not going to do it. The third day, I'm going to be like, man, I didn't do it for two days in a row. Now I got to do three right now. I might do it. And then the next day, I'm like, man, I could have been way further ahead if I had just been doing it every day. And then I won't do it. And it just like is a snowball effect. You got to make it a habit by at least doing it once a day. It makes it more of a habit if you do it once a day. Is it the same thing if you do 70,000 souls in one day? As doing 10,000 in, in each day, yeah, it's the same thing. But I feel like um, if you do the 10,000 a day, you're going to do it every day for a whole year. If you do 70,000 in one day once a week, I bet you you miss at least one week that year. So, you know what I mean? If you can do something smaller, cut it into smaller increments and do it once a day it's more it's more habit forming and it's easier if you're feeling if you're having a crappy day it's way easier to do 10,000 souls than it is to do 70,000 and if you happen to have that crappy day on your on your 70,000 day you're not going to do it and then you got zero that week instead of 
you know, 60 or 50. If you're doing something, if you're doing it every day and making it a habit, you're going to do, you're going to, if you <clears throat> accidentally miss one, <clears throat> it's not as devastating. And it's easier to get it in if you don't feel like it. It's easier to do um, 15 minutes than like an hour when you're feeling like crap. So I'm making a new team because I just got the Sir Ted Pet uh, from Werewoods. Werewoods was so difficult. I had to do like five battles a day just to do one delve. It was crazy. And it was super hard at the end. I was getting killed. Like I wasn't even... I was failing some days. But then I would just do it again until I, until I got it done. You know what I mean? But um, making a team here... I'm, see, I, even, you can even do this quicker than me. Once you have everything set up to where you know what you're going to do each day, you can get it done faster than me. Because I'm, I'm having to make a team here, I'm having to look for a delve. Because I'm in between, them, in between them, I have to pick a new delve, go after a new pet. So this is taking a little bit extra time that it wouldn't. So you could get this stuff done in under 40 minutes. People think you got to play Gems of War for hours and hours each day to get ahead you don't have to you don't have to as long as you're doing the right things while you're playing you don't have to you can play for 40 minutes a day you could probably play for 30 minutes a day and you would get ahead eventually as long as you're doing the right things you're doing your dungeons you're doing your adventure board you're making sure you stay in that guild and doing your part and then you're picking something else that you're shooting towards that you're gonna do once a day for me delve pets for you, soul farming. For you, gold farming. For you, making sure all your kingdom power levels are up to date, you know? Whatever it is. Whatever it is. I'm going for Delve Pets and Zulgoth right now. Maybe you're going for Dawnbringer and, and, you know, something else. Kingdom power levels for more stats. So I made a team here for uh, Stonesong Airy, and the reason I picked Stonesong Airy is because I don't have the pet yet, and because it's the shortest way to the end. Like, I only have to do three battles a day instead of, because I just did Werewoods, and that's got to be the hardest one, because it was five battles a day. It was really hard at the end. The colors were wonky. I was using, like, Ketris and Yasmin's Pride, and I was, like, dying at level 490, 480, 470, like... I was dying and not making any progress for the day sometimes. But, um, so I wanted to do one that was shorter, easier, uh, where I only have to do three battles instead of five. And you just rush straight across. We're just trying to get the, the, we're just going for the renown. We're not going for the rewards. We're not going for the chest. We're not caring about chaos shards. We're not caring about anything except for running straight through it as fast as we can we're like streaking through the through the delve just to get to that boss room so we can get the renown we don't care about the rewards the resources the chaos shards the anything we don't care we're just going for the pet at this point because i have them all open they're all at quality 10 they're all at quality quality level 10 horde level 10 I've got like all the troops, and they're, most of them are ascended. Like I've got everything done and open and finished except for the pet. So that's why I'm just streaking through these. Just not caring about resources at the moment. And what I used to do, what I used to do was farm them each day. Farm for chaos shards. If you're low on chaos shards, maybe you do that. You pick them, um, uh... City of Thieves, or um, Mirrored Halls, or, or whatever. Silver Necropolis, one of the good ones for uh, farming. And you just run through level 20 each day. That could be the thing you're doing each day, instead of this. But pick something, and, and chunk it out into 7 days, and do one chunk of it each day. Whatever it is. If you're farming delves, run through a level 20 delve every day. If you're going for Dawnbringer, get 10,000 extra souls by soul farming every day. If you're gold farming, get yourself 50, whatever, 20,000 extra gold a day. Use your key team. Go into um, PvP or, or Explore. If you're farming metals, that's the other thing I do each day. That's going to be the next thing on the list. 
go do that each day chunk it out make sure you get at least one token a day or whatever you want whatever you're trying to do this is how you keep ahead of the game you don't fall behind you don't feel overwhelmed you don't accidentally not do something each day you stay in your guild you get mythics you get stuff done you form habits I'm just trying to help you out I don't know how many views this video is going to get because the title is probably not going to be um, something that uh, draws people in but I think this is one of the most uh, I don't know you can learn a lot from this video in my opinion this is what Cinecool does each day am I the best gems of war player in the world no am I in the top tier wise you know there's the a b c d e f am I in the a minus at least yeah I think so I'd like to hope so at least B I'm up there if you're in the F and you wanna learn how to be a B then listen to what I'm saying if you're a D and you wanna learn how to become an A listen to what I'm saying I'm not level 1500 but I know how to play the game I know how to be paragon of a top 15 guild I know how to have uh, almost 10,000 gems I know how to have Dawnbringer and almost 500,000 500, souls I know how to have more than half the mythics and only need like less than 10 to have all of them. I know how to not run out of gold and stay in a good guild and have all the delves open and lots of pets. That's what I'm doing. I'm going after this bin chicken that a lot of people don't have, I bet. Well, I mean more people than, you know, other pets. Like Sir Ted, man. Sir Ted is, uh probably the pet that people have the least of in my opinion in my guesstimation so here's the next thing I do I do explore difficulty 12 with the Scorpius Urali team and I get a boss chest every day once a day at least and this is the least I do each day I do more than this this isn't this isn't all I do this is when I wake up in the morning and I have a 40 minutes or less, you know, I have 30 minutes before I have to start working or whatever. I have 30 to 40 minutes before, you know, I wake up 30 to 40 minutes early. As soon as I wake up, this is what I do each day to make sure I stay ahead in Gems of War. And then later on that night, maybe I do more. More like probably I do more. This is the least I do each day, but if you do at least this each day, is what I'm saying. This is the least you should do each day chunk it out into seven days don't try to do everything in one day wake up 30 minutes early each day to do this at least because then you have some days where you do more maybe on Saturday and Friday you do everything else extra extra stuff you're going for the first place on your guild event leaderboard you're gonna grind 50,000 100,000 200 300 400,000 souls you're gonna uh, run through extra delves you're gonna farm extra tokens of course there's days where you're going to do a lot more this is the bare minimum I think this is the bare minimum you wake up in the morning 30 to 40 minutes it's just like working out doing your push ups your burpees grinding out some sit ups this is how you stay healthy in gems of war this is how you get fit and stay ahead and you know keep your wind don't run out of gas you got it your gems award cardio if you don't do this then you're just gonna be struggling you're gonna get tired of the game you're gonna fall behind you're gonna get into that mental state where you're like man I'm never gonna get there it costs a million and a half souls to get Dawnbringer? Man, that's a lot of souls. But if you do 20,000 a day, you know, that's like 150,000 a week. It only takes a couple months. And if you think months is a long time, then this ain't the game for you. Because it takes two months to get a Mythic. It takes a couple, two or three months to get Dawnbringer. 
It takes time. It's not if they if everything was handed to you, this would be a terrible game. Oh, you're level 100 or 200. Here's your Dombringer, sir. Here's your Ferris Ra. Just just have it for free. Just just have it. It's easy. This game. It's like Legos. Lego Batman. Nah, it ain't like that. You gotta. There's gotta be like a sense of satisfaction. And like, if I'm getting, if I'm getting Dawnbringer, I wanted to work for it. Even though, in my opinion, it's not that great of a weapon. Uh, I don't even use it for that much. I don't want to burst anybody's bubble or whatever. But it's not the greatest thing in the world. It is right, right when you get it. It is. It is. If you can get it soon in the game, it is. It's good. If you're getting it late in the game, if you're thinking it's going to solve your, all your problems late in the game, that it, it's not it. It's for like early on in events to blow through them and be safe. It's for like one Guild Wars team or one Guild Wars defend. It's to use here and there. It's for arena. It's not for like to solve all your problems and make you invincible. It's not what it is. So if that's what you're expecting, you're going to be... Uh, disappointed I mean at first if you can get it early if you can get it somehow before you turn level 1000 then you it's gonna be awesome but that's how everything is in this game if you can get the dragon soul when you're level 300 that's gonna be awesome you're gonna destroy everybody and get tons of souls and if you get Dawnbringer before you get level 750 or a thousand it's gonna be awesome if you're getting it when you're level 1200, then you're going to be disappointed because it's not as good. If you're getting it when you're, it's when you're level 1500, you're going to be like, man, this is like not even top 10. But back to the point of the video. This is stuff you should do each day, bare minimum, to make sure you stay ahead in Gems of War. To make sure, you know, to make sure you're doing, like, you're not falling behind and to get ahead and wake up and grind it out each day this is what you should do if you wanna be one of the best and you should you could do way more obviously that's what I'm saying this is the least you should do wake up do this every day for 30 minutes 40 minutes and then do extra later on or do extra on Friday or Saturday or Sunday whatever day but this is the least even if it's Monday so I used to take off Mondays like there's nothing you have to do on Mondays, so sometimes I would take off on Mondays. I don't do that anymore because I want to make a habit. A habit of doing certain things each day. So I never don't do it. So now I play every Monday, and I do these things. I do dungeons, adventure board, make sure I'm doing my part in my guild. Whether it's events, or gold, or seals, or trophies, or whatever. Right now I'm doing delves because I'm going for the pets. So I'm running through a delve each day. And you can substitute that out for something else. For farming delves, for farming souls, for farming gold, for farming metals, whatever you want to do. And then the other thing I do is this. Explore, difficulty 12, farming tokens. Because I don't have three badges of Nisha yet. But do you have a medal of Nisha and two badges of Nisha? Do you? The reason I have it is because I'm doing this. The reason I have them is because I'm doing this. Not because I think that's like awesome. There's people that have three medals of Nisha. There's people that have four. There's people that have five, six, seven. So I don't have a lot, but at least I, you know, at least I have one for each slot. And the reason that is is because I do this every day. And it doesn't take that long. It doesn't take that long to do all these things. This is you can see it's a 43 and a half it's a 44 minute video and I screwed around and, and was I was screwed around a little bit so it could be definitely under 40 minutes and I just want you guys to get better that's that's all it is I'm not talking down I'm not saying I'm better I'm not saying anything all I'm saying is this is what I do each day you know, if you see, hey, how does he have that much stats? How does he have that much gold? How does he have that many souls? How does he have three Nishas? How does he have that troop? How this, how that? How's he just, you know? This is how. I'm showing you. It's not a secret. I would never keep a secret. I'm, I give you guys everything. 
I give you guys everything. I would never. I, there's stuff I watch. There's other things that I try, I'm trying to get better at. So I watch on YouTube, you know. And um, I can tell they're holding back. They have a secret that they're not telling you. If you're trying to learn something, like somehow to, let's say, a way to make money. There's a certain thing you're doing. You're trying to make money doing it. You're watching somebody on YouTube. They obviously know how to do it. They're obviously successful. They're going to give you... They'll give you 75% of their tips and their strategy. But they're not going to give you all 100 Because there's a there's that last 25% that's a secret that they don't want you to know. Because if you know that, then it's going to screw them up. Because then you're going to go do it. Everybody's going to do it. And then he can't do it anymore. But that's not how I'm how I am. I'm giving you everything. 100%. This is what I do. 100%. There's nothing nothing that I'm not telling you. I wake up <clears throat> every day and this is what I do. And is it hard for me to help like really really early on beginners sometimes? Yeah, because I can't remember what I was doing way back then. But I'm sure it was something like this. Check it out. Token of Anu. Awesome. And even if, like, you don't get discouraged depending on what you get each day. Because you're going get, to get it six more times that week. If you get two tokens of guard, and um, you fail at your delve, and uh, your adventure board's crappy, and, um, you know, your guild event, you're way down on the list, don't get discouraged because you're going to do it six more times that week. You're going to get up there. Don't get discouraged. You're going to get six more chances at that, that token of Nisha. You're going to have six more chances to complete that delve and get that get closer to that pet. You're going to do six times more in your guild and go up the list. So don't get discouraged. Let's reiterate because the video is almost over. Ready? Wake up in the morning. Dedicate 30 minutes to the game. 40 minutes. Do your dungeons every day. Why? Because diamonds, that's the way, best way to get diamonds. You can use diamonds in the Soul Forge to buy mythics, craft mythics. Mythics are the best thing in the game. Wait for a good one, though. Wait for Infernus. Wait for Ferris Ra. Wait for King, High King Argot. Don't just get any any mythic. Um. Then Adventure Board. Just do it every day. There's the top top one where you have to kill a certain amount of troops. That one you have to get done for it to reset. The other three, the cra like say there's minor trade stones or whatever, those will reset each day and you'll get a different one. But the top one does not. So try to get that done each day because it'll if, as soon as you get it done, it, it starts to reset and it gives you another one. So if you skip it one day, you're missing out. You're literally missing out. But just make that a habit. Adventure Board is so fast, you can get it done in under five minutes easy just get it done because to form a habit because eventually it's going to have imp imperial deeds on there okay then pick something that didn't make sure you're good in your guild then pick something else to do whatever it is for me it was it's delve pets i do one delve a day and then after that i try to get a token each day a boss chest so hope this helped y'all out like share subscribe and i'll see y'all next time peace